Millions of Americans are preparing for their annual vacations, and the TSA is predicting this is going to be the busiest summer travel season ever. Compared to last summer, flight prices are down this year, while hotel room rates are up, and demand is expected to be heavy. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette joins us from Dubai today, where a travel summit is taking place right now. Wendy. And this is a sky pool villa here at Atlantis the Royal in Dubai. This is one of an astounding 90 swimming pools here at the resort. In the first quarter, the hotel had occupancy of about 90%, and the hotel says the occupancy in the summer is expected to be very high as well, just like many other parts of the world. Buckle in for takeoff of the summer travel season. I think travel will be up in the mid single digit range, and I think the airlines will continue to see very heavy traffic. Priceline CEO Brett Keller says flight and rental car prices are down between 5 and 10 percent compared to last summer. The travel site finds the most popular summer domestic destinations are Miami, New York, and Honolulu, while London, Cancun, and Toronto top the international list. But with inflation bringing overall higher prices, not everyone can afford a trip, according to commercial real estate company CoStar. It shows budget hotel vacancies surpassed 50 percent in the first quarter. Room demand for economy properties dropped by 6% compared to the same first quarter last year, whereas on the upper end for luxury class hotels, room demand grew by just under 5%. Virtuoso says that's increasing luxury hotel room rates, an average of almost 10% over last summer. The Travel Network is holding its annual symposium here at Atlantis the Royal in Dubai. The 43-story resort where we stayed for a special rate just celebrated its first anniversary. It brands itself as ultra-luxury with 17 restaurants and bars, a sky pool stretching almost 300 feet overlooking the Arabian Sea and water-themed decor. When it comes to summer travel, Virtuoso is seeing a migration from the usual European hotspots to cooler countries in the north. That includes big upticks in Iceland, up 49 percent, and Sweden, up 47 percent. If you are considering visiting always popular Italy, plan a trip while the Olympics are drawing crowds in Paris. Virtuoso says bookings are down around 7 percent during that three-week window in July and August. And in terms of tourism overall here in Dubai, last year broke records with over 17 million overnight visitors. And the first quarter of this year was even stronger than last year, up around 20 percent. Anne? All right. Some good tips there. Oh, for people that have not yet booked, what are international flight prices averaging this summer? Well, the booking app Hopper finds most popular destinations in Europe are averaging about $950 round trip. That's 8% lower than last year, but 15% higher than pre-pandemic 2019. Dubai is a little bit more expensive than Europe, as you would expect. And on the domestic side, average round trip flights are about $300, Anne. Okay. Does sound a bit average, but uh, Dubai, I'm putting that on my list. Those pools, Wendy, they look fabulous. <laughs> Going a lot of, do a lot of swimming tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can always get all the latest headlines and weather over on PIX Plus. And remember to like and click the button on the bottom left of your screen to subscribe for the biggest Bay Area news.